know that most of what you've seen, read, or heard about Billy the Kid is untrue? My name is Gail Cooper. I'm a medical doctor and forensic psychiatrist. My specialty is murder case consultation for the defense. For 20 years, I've used my expertise to uncover the real Billy the Kid. Researching over 40,000 pages of archival documents and books, I've written the revisionist history. It's shocking, it's liberating, and I've written books demolishing the hoaxes, hijacking the history. My talks will share with you what I've found. Cover-ups, misinformation, and fakery, to use Old West lingo, will bite the dust. Twenty-one-year-old Billy Bonney was captured at Stinking Springs on December 22, 1880, by Deputy U.S. Marshal Pat Garrett. Billy arrived at the Santa Fe Jail on December 27, 1880. Six days later, on January 1, 1881, he wrote to Governor Lew Wallace, just a few streets away, at the Palace of the Governors. Now, Billy desperately needed the pardon Wallace had promised him in March of 1879. But unbeknownst to Billy, Wallace, fearing Santa Fe ring retribution if he pardoned their archenemy Billy, selfish Wallace had himself been adding to Billy's outlaw myth to make a pardon seem undeserved. Also, Wallace's book, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, written during his New Mexico Territory governorship and been released by Harper and Brothers on November 12, 1880, and was already a bestseller. Billy gave his location with his usual undaunted ironic wit as just Santa Fe. I wrote, Governor Lou Wallace, dear sir, I would like to see you for a few moments if you can spare the time. I signed, Yours respect, W. H. Bonney. Eight days after Billy wrote, Wallace even got a letter praising Ben Hur from President Rutherford B. Hayes. Billy's accidental reminder of his lack of Christian compassion was the last thing hypocrite Wallace wanted while he was posing as a spokesman for Jesus Christ. Of course, Wallace didn't respond to Billy's letter. 